artisans, the human visual system has so many quirks and caveats that sometimes it feels like a miracle that we can even see at all. Not only that, but sometimes your brain just makes stuff up. Allow me to explain. First, your peripheral vision is so terrible that the brain is basically guessing about what is out there. Don't feel bad. By your brain, I mean the brains of all humans. Unless you're not a human, in which case, what? What I mean to say is, everything just outside of your focal point, or your exact center of vision, is, to some extent, filled in by your brain with nonsense. We often don't notice this because usually we're free to move our heads and eyes around. The most dramatic way of demonstrating this is by forcing yourself to stare at a single point. Let's try an optical illusion right now. Stare at the exact center of the screen on the cross and don't look away. Ready? Okay, now you might not believe me, but all of the faces that just appeared on your screen were completely normal looking. Rewind the video and watch it again if you don't believe it. This is called the flashed face distortion effect. It works because your peripheral vision is sensitive enough to know that something is changing in your peripheral vision, but it is not sensitive enough to know exactly which details changed. Your eyes couldn't see enough detail about those faces that kept popping up, for you to reconstruct them accurately in your brain. But your brain knew that there should be facial features there, and so it filled them in. Your brain got even more confused because the faces kept switching. So when the eyes or nose changed shape, your brain had to guess about what the new shape was, based on what little information it had. That's why, for example, you probably saw some eyes that were way too big, especially following a picture of a person with small eyes. Your brain adjusted the size of the eyes incorrectly and ended up creating weird alien-looking creatures that only existed within your own mind. Secondly, let's talk about how during normal day-to-day -day vision you frequently go blind. And no, I'm not talking about blinking. That's a different video. I'm talking about saccades, including micro saccades, which are tiny, involuntary movements that your eyes make that you generally don't notice happening, and voluntary saccades, which are larger movements that happen when you fixate on a point and then move your eyes without moving your head to fixate on another point. While your eyes are in motion during a saccade, you effectively go blind. This is called saccadic masking, and without it, every time your eyes changed their fixation point, you would see an irritating motion blur. In other words, you don't see your own eyeballs moving around, which, let's be honest, is probably a good thing, or we'd all get motion sick. So, why do we not see this movement? This is because your brain effectively creates a snapshot of the scene in order to fill in the blank. This ability for the brain to take a snapshot in time is sometimes called chronostasis. This is why sometimes if you look quickly at a clock with moving hands, the first ticking movement of the clock seems to take longer than it should to happen. This is called the stopped clock illusion. You can demonstrate this yourself with any clock that has a second hand by looking away from it and then looking towards it a few times. If anyone catches you doing this and asks why, make sure you rewind the video and I'll explain it again, just for you. And finally, you might already know that your eyes each have a blind spot, but did you know that your brain will actually try to fill in that blind spot with whatever pattern it thinks belongs there? Let's start with a simple blind spot demonstration. This will work best on a medium-sized screen, like a laptop, but you might be able to get it to work on a phone or a TV as well. Close or cover your left eye and look at the blue circle in the center of the screen with only your right eye. Now, 
while keeping your right eye on the blue circle, slowly approach the screen until the red X completely disappears. It might take a few tries, but be patient. Pause the video now if you need to. Notice how when the red X disappears, it is replaced by the background color. Okay, now let's try a more complicated one. Do the same thing as before, and try to maneuver yourself into the perfect position for your blind spot to make the X and the white area around it disappear. Pause the video if you need to. For an advanced challenge, you can find your blind spot, and this time, open and close your other eye to make the maze pattern appear and disappear rapidly. This time, notice how the blind spot area is filled in with the maze background, even though there was no maze background there. Spooky, huh? Your brain made up that detail, just like your brain makes up a lot of stuff that you think you see. This happens because each eye has a blind spot on the retina where the eye connects to the rest of the body, and so it doesn't have light-sensitive cells in that small area. So the cells around it contribute an estimate of what is probably located there. In most day-to-day -day situations, you probably don't notice your brain making things up like that on the fly. But it's a good thing that it does, because it helps us function. Optical illusions are specifically designed to temporarily break some aspect of the visual system that we take for granted. But most of the time, it does a seamless and amazing job. If you liked this video, please share it with the world, and preferably not in the world's blind spot. Leave me a comment about which of these illusions blew your mind the most, and don't forget that you can follow me on social media and visit my website in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.